Okay, good afternoon girls and welcome again to my art studio. I hope you're still keeping well and hopefully you're also enjoying this um, online uh, learning. <laughs> it's new for all of us. And as you've noticed, my previous tutorial, uh, my second one, it was rather long and I also had problems with the editing. And um, yes, it is challenging for all of us, but we learn as we go along. And um, therefore, I have decided to do my um, future tutorials, to, to, to make them a little bit shorter, um, about 20 minutes. So um, this is my third tutorial video, and, we will call, and um, we're going to color blend the robin bird. So I'm going to set my alarm for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, then um, the video will, will be done for that lesson. And then we will call it um, Art Tutorial 3A. And the next one will be 3B and 3C until we complete um, that, uh, the, the particular project of color blending the robin bird. So that's how we will do it, girls. Right. So just to recap, um, let me just um, show you. We started with the with the little robin bird image and the frangipani and leaves. And we decided to enlarge, well, I decided to enlarge it because the oil pastels are too chunky for all that detail in the robin bird's feathers. So, so we've enlarged it to the bigger option. And then I thought the robin bird might be difficult for some grade fours, but much to my delight, many grade fours have managed and well done girls. But if for those of you that haven't that's fine no pressure at all then I've done this option here of a butterfly instead and then I thought for the girls that would also like to do the butterfly that have started the robin bird they can do a smaller um, artwork with just the butterfly and a frangipani but of course no pressure and then for the girls that just want to do the flowers there's also this option of the frangipanis and the leaves and yes, so there we go. So you've got lots of different um, possibilities um, and doing a, a wonderful collage. You can actually combine even the butterfly and the robin if you want to do a bigger one or play around as you like. You can even add another bird or a little um, bee. It is up to you. The possibilities are endless with a collage, as I mentioned. <laughs> okay, girls. So now before we start the actual um, color blending of the robin bird, I just quickly want to go a few over the elements of art that we are going to use. So now, when we do the robin bird, we are going to use color. And then we are going to use tone. Now, tone is the gradual shading from dark to light. In this case, I've used lead pencil, but here we're using oil pastel, as you can see, from dark to light, or vice versa, from light to dark, right? Then you can use it in paint or in coloring in pencils. Tone is the shading. Now, if you apply tone to shape, which is flat, you create a 3D effect, which is form, that you call form. Form is when something becomes 3D. Right, so um, we, we can also have a little sculpture. Let me just, uh, just okay girls, so, so here's my little sculpture. So th this is also form, it is freestanding, free so you can move in front, behind and on the sides of it. So this is form in the form of a sculpture, right? So you can have form on a 2D surface by creating tone, which makes it look 3D, or you can have form as a sculpture, right girls? And then another um, element that we use is texture. We use the element of texture here on the um, bird. We can see the feathers. That is a nice soft texture. Texture is the way something feels. So you can have tactile texture, which is real texture. For instance, this gemstone, this is tactile. You can actually touch it. It is smooth. It's got a smooth texture. And this bit of coral is more rough. That has got a rough texture. 
Right. And then you get visual texture, which is this. It's, it's not actually the real thing, but it says it tactile te um, visual texture looks as if it may feel when it were touched. So, so it's visual texture, but it is two-dimensional. That is not the actual tactile texture. It's visual. You see it with your eyes. Right, girls. And then also space. Um, the, the element of space, I've referred to it a lot when drawing, when we drew the butterfly, the negative space and the positive space. And even within the positive space, you can also still have a negative space within. So that is what we cons um, constantly refer to. And then you also get a kind of a space where it shows perspective, depth. Okay, so you get those two types of space. Right, girls. So we basically use all the elements of art in this um, in this artwork: line, shape, form, color, tone, texture, and space. Good, girls. So I'm going to start my um, art tutorial now, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Right, girls. So here I am videoing myself again, and I just want to say that um, I am setting the alarm for about um, let me see 22 minutes I have set the alarm on my cell phone so when it rings then um, that will be the end of our tutorial 3a right girls so now um, we're going back to your robin bird that you drew initially using the grid so we erase the grid right there we go. And then we also, I'm going to erase some of this pencil because I don't want to erase too much so that you can still see. I know I used a, a 6B for you to see more clearly, but um, just for, um, for, for I, I think, if you did yours quite dark, just erase it slightly so that you can still see the bird, but you won't see the pencil showing through the oil pastel where um, there are lighter tones of oil pastel. Right, so there we go. Okay, girls, so I am going to I'll actually find the Robin, the original um, reference that I used on my cell phone so we can have a more... Um, more detailed look at the actual bird as opposed to my drawing so um this is the little bird you can also google it you'll find it under robin bird okay so that's the bird and here is my bird right so what we are going to do we are going to draw this red section which is so distinctive of the robin bird and for that, we are going to use, let me just see, let me just keep both of these images here, because this one has got the actual oil pastel colors. For that, we are going to use, we can always enhance um, the, the actual image a bit more to give it that wow factor, because we can do that as artists. We can use, as I've often mentioned, our artistic license right so we can go from the darkest red number 11 to the next one number 10 and then we can jump to the orange which is number three and then the yellow orange number two the chrome yellow number five and the lemon yellow right girls so I'm taking these colors and let me just show you with um, oil pastel it is such a nice medium to work with I have taught the grade five six and sevens already but I don't think the grade fours have been taught how to color blend with oil pastel right so this is my darkest red so you can start with the darkest press quite hard and then you would go to your next color which is the next one which is more an orangey red then you go over you go over the dark one and let those two colors blend and then you move on to the white paper right then you take your next turn so you go from dark to light 
Right, so your next one, your orange, you go over that orangey red and then you blend onto the white. You see how you get that nice, even, um, gradual blending? And then you go to your next tone on top and then you blend onto the white, right? And your next one, so it's very easy. Touch, go over the, the previous color and then onto the white. And then your lightest one, go over your previous color and then onto the white. See that lovely effect? Looks nice and 3D. Right, girls. So let's do that with this robin bird here. We'll just start. We'll look carefully at it. So there it's quite dark and it goes lighter. Okay, as in my drawing to dark to light. Right, so let's do that. So you are going to also think of the actual texture of, um, of the bird. So we are now color blending feathers. So we want to we want to think of feathers as we color blend. Oh, it's reflecting a bit. Okay. So we want to think of... Let me just put this one side. So we are looking there. It is darker. So we're starting with our darkest... Our darkest red. Right, let's just get this sorted. There we go. Right, we're starting with our dark, and you can you see that texture? The, there's nice soft feathers, those soft fluffy feathers on the on the chest of the of the little birdie. Okay, so so when I do 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 this kind of textured artwork, I, it sounds strange, but I almost become like the feathers. You have to feel the feathers. You have to feel that texture as you as you putting it down. You see I'm using the, the, those kind of little textural marks. Okay, little fluffy feathers. Right, so I'm not just doing it flat. I'm doing little textured um, strokes. Okay, and then I go to my Next, lighter orange. All the time thinking of that lovely fluffiness going over the darker one. Right, over the darker one. And then you can see there it's slightly lighter. So we're actually just looking at shapes of tone. So And it's starting to go that direction. So we change the direction a bit. We look at the shapes of tone and automatically the 3D effect pops up. Right, and then do it a bit lighter there. And then it goes slightly darker again. So it's all about looking. I'm not even th thinking too much about the actual bird. I'm looking at texture and tone. Okay, so let's do that little section there. See, it's quite dark all the time looking. So, taking our, our number 10, our vermilion, um, vermilion. I know it in Afrikaans, vermilion. There we go. And we put that there. Remember, there's that little, oh, that's part of the beak, that little triangular shape. Now we see it, hey. There we go. Let me take our number two, yellow, orange. I must say, I do love color. I just love, love, love color. Okay, then we blend. Can you see? Thinking of feathers. There's a bit of a lighter tone. So we go a bit lighter there. So here it is very light. We can do that rim of the eye. We can... That is a different texture. You can imagine the eyelid is more smooth, but we just put that in. Okay, that's a bit yellow. And we take our white and we can go over it to make it lighter. Great, more or less. Okay, so now we carry on with color blending. So those feathers go in that direction again. So we would go up a bit here, a little bit there, 
and then it meets and it's let's continue that lightness there and here it is very dark so you put like a nice dark rim underneath right there we go and there's a let's do that like a nice little orangey bit there we go and then we blend into it nicely that's quite orange there great so can you see that lovely 3d effect already with this toning of um, oil pastels right there it's a bit darker excellent put that in Got a bit darker around there is a little bit of black which we can also very carefully take the black that's actually more part of the beak so let's maybe leave it for now and then go or maybe just blend it in there we go and then here at the edge it's nice and i hope you can all see okay can you see okay if i do this can you i hope you can see okay nice and light let me see Maybe I'll just bring the cell phone a bit closer one moment. Okay, girls, I'm back again. As you can see, I've, I've, um, I've dropped the cell phone that I'm doing the video with quite a lot. So you can see more clearly. And um, I, I'm doing it in sections. So we'll just focus on one section at a time. Right. So there's the little robin bird that we're looking at the color reference and there is where I'm busy with right so it's a bit darker there so let's make that a bit darker okay this nice dark number 10 so let's just complete that right excellent it is videoing there we go and then we go up there up and color blend a bit move to slightly lighter orange so it's not too much of a jump okay and then we can use this other orange here number two blend it in always thinking of nice soft fluffy feathers right there we go and now we see oh here it's quite light the nice thing is you can go over the oil pastel and you can press a bit hard, make it a bit lighter there. Okay, and just work into it. Right. Okay, I think I, I will be using a bit of this um, um, brown, this reddish brown, just to give it a bit of depth. Okay, get a bit of earthiness. There we go. And around the beak a bit darker great excellent oh it's casting a shadow here okay let's just try there but you can see hey girls there we go right maybe I'll just try and move um, so it doesn't cast a shadow one moment Right, girls, I'm back again. Um, I had to move on the, to the opposite side of the table because my oil pastel was casting a shadow as I was drawing and you couldn't see clearly. Okay, so this is the shadow of my cell phone. So not to worry about that. You can see the my, my picture is just under the shadow. So that's fine. Okay, girls, so let's carry on. So... I said we would use a bit of brown around the darker areas, right? Just to you know, the edges, as you can see, the edges there, where it meets with the other tones, to give it a bit more depth. Hey, all the time thinking of, and then we blend it in, all the time thinking of the texture of feathers. There we go. I had to reset my alarm because it took me quite a while to to um, move around and figure out um, where where I can do a drawing without a 
where I can do this color blending without the shadow that being cast. So I have moved the alarm a bit forward. Okay, girls. So there we go. So here you see a lighter patch. So we're going to use, I did use that yellow already, that number five. So now I'm moving on to number one and going over the number five. Oopsie. And always try and keep your oil pastels um, quite clean. If you've got a tissue close by, you can clean them with a tissue. There we go. And... Um, and then I'm just going to go with a little bit of white over it too, just to make it a bit lighter. Okay, and now we're moving on to all your other shades that we've got here. All these lovely shades that I'm using here. So now we're going on to a more, this yellow here, this yellow orange. Okay, moving down, looking at the patches of tone. See there, it's a bit lighter. Right, so we're going to make it a bit lighter there and blend it in nicely, thinking of feathers, nice soft feathers all the time. Okay, working down, working down. Okay, we can go a little bit darker, moving on to orange now. It's going a bit darker. So you see, I... The whole time I look at my reference, which means my picture I'm working from. It's all about looking. There it's also a little bit darker there. Blend it in until you're happy. Try and get all those different shapes of tone. You can always go back in and blend it in again. That nice soft feathery feel. Okay. And there it's also a bit lighter, then you press a bit harder if you've gone too dark. There we go. A bit lighter there. Can again go over the whole time until you are happy with your effect. Okay. There we go. Let me just see there. Kind of makes it difficult to look through. The actual little cell phone I'm videoing and the image because the colors are a bit different. Mm -hmm. The tones. Right, but more or less, so you do understand what I mean. So there's a nice shape there. There's a line. There's a lighter shape and a lighter shape, a lighter tone. So we try and get those shapes and tones. Right, girls. That makes it more interesting. Okay, we with the frangipani and leaves, we are going to do a more decorative color blending. But with this, we try and get the different shapes of tone so that visually it does look more interesting. Right, and then here it is very light. A nice light patch there. Nice and light. Right. You can go into the other yellow too. There we go. Blend it nicely. Okay, the other orange number three. Ah, you know, girls, you can use your artistic license and give it a bit more punch here and there if you want. And even if it's not exactly, exactly. It is just a way of teaching you how to look at the different shapes of tone. Okay, so we're going to enlarge it a bit and move this up a bit. Right. Great. So we almost finished with this kind of bib shape of the little robin. Okay, so there it's a lot lighter. So let's just do those lighter Little lovely feathery textures, shapes, little tonal shading. Okay, then it goes a bit darker too. From up there, we go over it. Always thinking of the feathers. Always thinking of the feathers. 
and you can see here it's quite dark and dark you can actually see here more or less where some of those feathers have a bit of depth here can bring in that bit of depth got to like feel the feathers bit of shading to bring in depth right okay let's carry on with this orange right here coming down it goes a bit lighter again just a bit more textured don't press too hard let's go to the lighter orange rather don't want to go too dark always thinking of the textures blending in nicely okay it's quite light at the bottom let's go to the yellow it's quite light there right there we go on the sides too go up nice bit of blending let's go to this orange try and get a few like feathery shapes in a bit of depth right here we go here we go let me take this this darker one just to get a bit of more contrast here and there you can actually see a bit of the the shadows of the feathers okay let's go over so you just work into it until you are happy with it but you do understand what I mean basic shapes of different tones that you're looking at more or less there's a light one there put that light one in let's make it a bit lighter a bit lighter and then you get that texture of the feathers and then you look at the overall effect and you can just work into it a bit more make it a bit darker here blend it a bit more there we go so let's let's take that reference away now and then we just kind of blend it in a bit bring in a bit of the darker browns so now you kind of add your own little bit of depth okay here and there okay see if you're happy with it oopsie what happened now um okay let's just leave that carry on here and just work into it okay let's just see what we did with the other little one yes we did it quite light and then going darker okay so there we go light here by the chest can emphasize that a few textured soft little fluffy leaves and then blend it in Right, girls, so if you want to bring in a bit more contrast, you can add this reddish brown, number eight. You can add a bit more depth into there as you're thinking of feathers and drawing them. Wonderful. Okay, the feathers aren't all perfectly lined. They're kind of go in different diagonal directions kind of that little shape hey those little feathers they like that hey you can do that bring in that depth a bit of contrast and you can make it okay girls so there we go you basically get the idea okay we can always still work into it afterwards but that is more or less.
Okay, if you want to add a bit of white still, just for a few highlights, that's always nice. A bit of texture, bring it all together a bit. Okay, see how I'm doing those little soft, fluffy feathers. There. At the edge, at the edge of the bird, we kind of make it a bit lighter. Okay. Great. Oh, and there's our alarm. Okay, so there we go, girls. So this was lesson A of tutorial three. Thank you, girls. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.